Mercedes AMG Petronas win their seventh consecutive constructor championship at the Emilia Romagna 2020 Grand Prix. Now, this is a magnificent achievement from the team. No other team in the history of Formula One has managed to win seven consecutive constructor championships. Ferrari had won six, Williams had won three. No one has come so far uh, to win seven titles, and it just shows the team's dominance over the years in the sport, especially in the uh, in the turbo hybrid era. Uh, from 2014 all the way till uh, 2020, they have won each and every constructor title and of course the driver's title. Now, uh, let's talk a little about what exactly happened uh, in the race. Off the line, Valtteri Bottas was on pole, uh, Lewis Hamilton on second and uh, Max Verstappen third on the grid on, uh, on the start of the race. As the lights went out, uh, Max Verstappen overtook uh, uh, Lewis Hamilton to take P2 and Daniel Ricciardo over to Pierre Gasly to take P4. Pierre Gasly unfortunately had to retire early on in the race because of a terminal issue in his car. It was it was shaping up to be a beautiful race for him and he would have had a say in the top uh, five positions come the end of the race but it wasn't to be uh, in this race. Uh, Bottas leading up ahead uh, followed by Max Verstappen and then Lewis Hamilton. Uh, Max Verstappen pulled the trigger first in terms of the pit stop, uh, th which was then followed by Valtteri Bottas to cover him from uh, undercutting him. Now, this track was it, uh, is a narrow track, which is why there wasn't a lot of overtaking happening on uh, this particular track and it was very difficult to follow uh, one car to the other which in general uh, Formula 1 terms is known as the dirty air which comes out from the car uh, ahead to the car behind which is why it is difficult for the car behind to follow any other car. Another reason why overtaking was very difficult at this particular track. But because of no overtaking happening teams were scrapping away with some very interesting strategies to perform the undercut and the overcut. Sergio Perez was one of them. He started P11 in the race, but at one point in time was running P4 and was on for a podium position after uh, uh, Max Verstappen's retirement. But we're moving uh, ahead of ourselves first. Uh, Max pitted, followed by Valtteri Bottas pitting, and then Lewis Hamilton decided to change his strategy and extend his, his first stint to put in some mega, mega fast laps. He decided to build a gap towards uh, his, the second and the third car and then go for his pit stop. Fortunately for him, the virtual safety car arrived at the correct time and he got a cheap pit stop and then moved in uh, to the lead of the race. So Lewis Hamilton reading Valtteri Bottas in second and Max Verstappen in third. Valtteri Bottas picked up a piece of debris on the track which caused some damage to the floor of his car which is why he wasn't able to catch Lewis Hamilton and soon uh, Max Verstappen would go on to pass him on the track but Verstappen had a terminal uh, tire issue because of which he spun and was ruled out of the race he had to retire so from there on out it was uh, all Hamilton and Bottas taking uh, P1 and P2 and Hamilton also took uh, the fastest lap which meant that Mercedes had won the constructors title and Lewis's only one uh, maybe one more uh, race victory away from locking down the driver's title for himself as well so it can be as soon as the Turkish Grand Prix that he is able to lock that down for himself but uh, in terms of the other positions after Max Verstappen's retirement there was a safety car that came out Sergio Perez was in P3 but he decided to pit for soft tyres but now that decision came back to bite him because Daniel Ricciardo moved up into P3 and other cars also moved up subsequently and Sergio Perez came out in P8. Now he had to do a lot of overtaking to get by uh, to get his first podium position but that wasn't to be because this is such a tough track to overtake. Daniel Ricciardo kept his uh, P3, his second uh, podium in 
three races. Daniel Kwiat, who also does not have a drive for next year, managed to pull off some amazing move towards the end after the safety car restart on Alex Albon and uh, Charles Leclerc to take P4. Now, uh, Charles Leclerc finished in P5 and Sergio Perez managed to uh, finish in P6. Now, Alex Albon, he... This was a very important uh, race for him as each and every Grand Prix that passes by where he is not performing is. Now, this might just be the last nail in the coffin. Maybe they'll give him another race in Turkey to do something. But I think Red Bull are now actively looking for replacements to replace Alex Albon. Maybe it'll be Sergio Perez. Maybe it'll be uh, Nico Hulkenberg, depending on what direction uh, the team decides to go. Alex Albon spun uh, after the re uh, safety car restart and from uh, P6 on the grid fell down to P15 and after 5 cars had re retired he was plumb last and did not score any points. Now this was not the most exciting race in terms of overtaking but there were a lot of interesting strategies going on including that of Lewis Hamilton which uh, won him the race eventually extending that stint on the first tire was the key and he put in some mega laps uh, Valtteri Bottas's uh, uh, car being damaged did not really help his cause and that is one of the major reasons why Hamilton was able to overcut uh, both of these cars and of course the virtual safety car also helped him in a big way the uh, entire circus of Formula 1 now moves to uh, Istanbul for the Turkish Grand Prix and this is a race where Lewis can lock down his driver's title as well to go equal with Michael Schumacher at seven uh, driver's title. That would another that will be another iconic moment in the British uh, driver's career. Uh, up and, uh, until right now, uh, all the teams have been competitive from each other, especially uh, the midfield teams, midfield battle for the constructors title in uh, third position, the fourth position and the fifth position are covered off by one single point. So that uh, battle will go down to the wire till the end of the season. So that will be very interesting to see who comes out on top uh, there. Even the drivers uh, st championship, Daniel Ricciardo has moved up into P4, which is another uh, very good thing for him after his consecutive run off. Uh, podium finishes so that brings down the curtain on uh, yet another race weekend in formula one we go to istanbul from here let's see what happens over there it'll be a three-day weekend as uh, we go back to the normal formula one schedule this two-day weekend was very exciting i hope formula one keeps trying this uh, going forward uh, but yeah let's see what happens in istanbul another exciting uh, weekend awaits us till then it's bye-bye